uh, today we're going to see how to secure the remote devices using MTD. So how uh, important is to secure the mobile? So this is going to be an issue because uh, nowadays people started using uh, their own devices to access their email or internal application. So as an admin, so how we can make sure to secure their uh, devices. So let's see how security is going to be a problem. 89% of uh, users they rely on a single security strategy it means they have a perimeter firewall and uh, they have uh, have some WAF in place and uh, publishing uh, through WAF they are uh, uh, they are okay with whatever uh, security being provided by this perimeter uh, security and 51 percent of the users they're using public wi-fi which they don't even have a secure policy to verify whether that wi-fi is genuine or not and 62% of users, they don't know how uh, things are working. Like even if some free Wi-Fi is there, people tend to connect. They won't know what is a security uh, issue might happen behind this unsecure or untrusted Wi-Fi. So with Mobile Iron, uh, we are uh, making sure whoever using uh, the EVM and MTD are uh, uh, secure enough to access the backend resources. So EVM is uh, used for managing the devices, device posture, and policies configuration. MTD is for uh, blocking external hackers. So together, uh, Mobile Iron gives us a mobile uh, threat defense. So this is the high-level architecture for uh, EVM. So we have a EVM console. This EVM console can be on-prem or it can be a cloud. And we have a sentry. EM console is the heart of the system where uh, it is used to manage users, policies, configuration, compliance, or uh, any anything that has to be done with a mobile. And Sentry is just a gateway which will allow access to the backend resources. When I say backend resources, it might be your email server or uh, internal application server or even an internal uh, database. So when a device is registered, mobile RN will can push certain applications. So on the left, these are the products from uh, Mobile Iron. So the first one is the EM client, and this is the Enterprise App Store and Secure Email Plus, Docs at Work, Web at Work, Help at Work, Mobile Iron Tunnel, and Authenticator. So by default, all these apps are App Connect enabled, and any application which are pushed through uh, Enterprise App Store can. Uh, be made as a managed app. So those app will be placed inside a logical container. So the main reason is whatever happens inside the container stays inside the container and it cannot move outside the container. And anything happens outside the container cannot be able to penetrate inside the logical container. So uh, when a device is authorized using the VM console, Sentry will check whether the device compliance policy is posture or fine, then it will allow access to the backend resources. If you notice, there is uh, something called Bridge. So Bridge is just a platform which is used to manage uh, Windows 10 uh, devices for uh, pushing group policies or uh, shell uh, 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 scripts or any executables. And access is something to access, uh, to control the access on the cloud resources, whether uh, you have Office 365, Salesforce, Dropbox, access is the one uh, you can able to give uh, access to the users. And if you notice, there is a uh, MTD. So MTD uses the same EM console and MTD has a different console where you can uh, manage policies and uh, uh, app analysis and everything. But the policies can be still managed to EM console. So Mobile Iron is the only vendor who has integrated with the same client for uh, EM as well as MTD. Within a single application, you will have both the uh, it will serve both as a EM client as well as MTD agent. Okay, so this is a very brief overview for Mobile um, and architecture. If you have any questions, you can put it on the QA. I'll try my best to answer at the end of the session. Okay, so let's see an uh, overview of the risk. So if you see uh, initially the vulnerabilities for iOS and Android were were very minimal because at the when 2009 this is when I was started. So people are gradually or slowly using the mobile devices for any email or internal application. But as the days goes, if you see 
2018, the number of users has been increased. So as and when the number of users increase, hackers are finding a way to exploit the same. So the vulnerabilities and exposure for the iOS and Android also got increased as when the user increased to use it. And these are the recent uh, vulnerabilities and uh, malware like device exploits, network attacks, and uh, malicious apps. So people uh, might not be knowing or by accidentally uh, uh, installing these apps, they are uh, falling into the hands of uh, hackers. So a couple of months back, there were fake WhatsApp being circulated. So the user or the people can install two WhatsApp on the same device. So one WhatsApp they'll be downloading from the original resource. And the secondary WhatsApp has to be sideloaded or it, it, will, it will just look like a copy of the original WhatsApp. But this fake WhatsApp might be a malicious one. It can try to read data, the personal data on the same devices. And uh, there are also some uh, DNA vectors, like on the device level, the Every time uh, there is operating system released, so there is a version of jailbreak and uh, Ruti would be released. So each device has its own, I mean, each operating system version has its own vulnerabilities. So we have to uh, check whether the device is updated to the latest version and the latest patch has been uh, updated and uh, any type of voice exploit it's there and any uh, USB uh, violation is there. So even if you connect Simply connect the USB to your laptop just for charging, and this can, if a USB exploit has been present, this can also be used by the hacker to gain access to the devices. And network attacks like uh, people tend to connect with free Wi Fi, and if the Wi Fi is not trusted and someone can make that Wi Fi as a man in the middle attack, so whatever the traffic used by the users, the hacker will have access to all the data. And app like uh, there are millions of apps uh, available in iTunes and uh, Google uh, Play stores. So we should know what are the genuine apps and what are the malicious apps. So the, so with mobile and MTD, so there is a rating. So threat analytics, there is a threat analytics uh, rating for each app. So this will actually show which app it's, you can trust and which app you can actually blacklist it. And you can uh, guide your user not to uh, install this uh, malicious app, even if the user uh, installs it, you can actually take action on on behalf of that. So let's see some uh, real MTD uh, examples. So we have categories into three different attacks. One is network, device configuration changes, and silent device attack. So device configuration changes, it's like um, when, uh, actually this is, yeah. So this is actually a network attack. So when, um, uh, just ignore the heading over here. So when a user tries to connect to untrusted Wi-Fi, and uh, it might be actually someone uh, publishing their society and they are uh, trying to do a man in the middle attack. So uh, let me go back, oh, sorry. Yeah, this is uh, device configuration changes. So uh, app like, uh, especially in this region, people tend to use VPN and anonymizers. So whenever you try to install any of those application, a profile will be installed on the device. And these profiles can be a malicious one or it can uh, gain access to the device uh, sensitive information and the hacker can get an hands on. So if the MTD is in the device, what will happen the moment uh, you try to install a VPN profile or any profile in the device, it will check the authenticity of the profile. If it is genuine, that's OK. If it is not genuine, it will just try to decrypt any data and then sending to any of the third party. Immediately, it will alert or it will take action, whatever that admin has been set. So you can set policy saying if someone tried to uh, install any VPN uh, malicious profile, they cannot access corporate resources. They cannot access emails. They cannot access the internal application. So similarly, if you have the user is connecting to a free Wi-Fi, people tend to connect to free Wi-Fi, especially in coffee shops or airports or uh, bus stations. So whenever a user try to connect any untrusted Wi-Fi, it will direct to the phishing uh, page. The moment user tries to put their username and password, the hacker will have access to their uh, credentials and they can able to exploit it. 
So with MA uh, mobile array in MTD, the moment uh, it is redirecting to the phishing page, it will detect and it alert the user. We, and it won't even allow the user to connect to the malicious Wi-Fi. Immediately, it will drop the connection. And silent device attack is something like, uh, I'll just give you an example. So uh, you, you'll have uh, option on the WhatsApp if you receive any image, automatically it saves in the gallery. So imagine if the image is embedded with a malicious script. So the moment it's say trying to save in the gallery, the script will start executed by itself. And uh, based on the script, it will try to gain either access or it will give control to the third party hacker or uh, something like that. So this can even happen while you are uh, sleeping or putting your mobile on charge. So with MTD, the moment the file is trying to uh, do anything malicious, anything which it's not supposed to do or any exploit uh, getting executed, it will stop uh, there itself and uh, it will make sure that device is not getting compromised. So uh, as a company, imagine if you could reduce the risk of company and uh, customer data loss because data loss is something like uh, it's happening rapidly nowadays and uh, you'll have to the admin has to gain visibility on the malicious threats on the mobile devices. So every time there is a new threat happening and the admin has to be, uh, has the visibility how these new, new threats are functioning. So we, the agent should be capable of identifying these latest threats and should be capable of uh, remediating the same time. With mobile Aran, they, we have a unique uh, approach. So there is only one client and which is integrated with the same uh, EM client and uh, it has advanced app analysis uh, engine so it will give a report like this app can be trusted and this app it's trying to th these are all app analysis for the new application and you have a separate uh, management control for tracking the MTD uh, uh, installed on the mobile devices and what are the policies set or any vulnerable devices there or any blacklisted application has been installed so this is just a quick demo how it does if you notice So if you notice, there is a Wi-Fi and uh, this Wi-Fi looks like a unsecured one. The moment user tries to connect it, see automatically the mobile error is showing it has been detected and connect to insecure uh, network connection, please disconnect your Wi-Fi. So this is something which is automatically done and it won't even uh, allow you to connect to the particular uh, Wi-Fi. And with mobile iron, it's uh, one app and no user action required and it's uh, for uh, zero day and it's on the device. Um, the reason behind it, it's like the user uh, need not to do anything for any type of uh, attack which I've just uh, explained. Everything happens offline on the device. It doesn't need to reach to any third party server on the cloud or on so on-prem service to uh, get a signature or a remediation action to apply. So the moment MTT detects any any uh, attack or any malicious uh, thing happening on the device, it automatically remediates and uh, everything happens uh, even if it's offline. So this is how uh, it works for other uh, MTT. So it uh, it will scan on the device and it will perform detection by using the cloud and it will inform the EM policy violation. And based on the policy actions being set, it will get the remediation uh, instruction to the EM agent and it will be pushed to the mobile device and mobile device will execute to remediate the threat. But with MTT, the moment it uh, detects any uh, violation, and automatically the threat will be remediated on the device. It doesn't need to check with any cloud or any services to get in signature updated. So this is how it works for the mobile and MTD. And uh, so uh, as a company, if uh, they are not doing anything uh, to 
uh, make sure the device uh, uh, security posture they they are, are in uh, risk of uh, losing their critical business data and it will be damaged to the reputation and loss of customer revenue fines and loss of resources i'll give you a few live examples so there was uh, uh, free wi-fi in a bus so people tend to connect to the free wi-fi and uh, there might be a hacker sitting in the same bus and publishing it so uh, ssid and people won't know whether this wi-fi published wi-fi it's genuinely from the bus or it's from a third party hacker so people tend to connect the moment they connect to the uh, malicious or unsecure wi-fi their data is already compromised another example it will hardly take 120 seconds to uh, get a, a device hacked using mitm so you can simply sit on the airport that the hacker can simply sit on the airport and publish his ssid and people tend to connect once they connect they won't even uh, be uh, knowing like they are connecting to a genuine one or uh, malicious or an insecure one if they have mobile and an mtd it will be the uh, it will alert the user like you are trying to connect to an insecure uh, uh, wi-fi which is trying to uh, sniff the packet or uh, doing a man in the middle attack so that uh, it will uh, allow it will request the user to disconnect or it won't allow the user to connect to the wi-fi based on the action it's been set so this is a live example so air canada they on uh, 22 24 august 2018 they have 20,000 mobile uh, user data has been accessed and they have uh, whoever access they have their username email phone number and uh, passport and they have uh, published uh, the user data and similarly british have is 3 lakh 80 000 customer credit card information has been compromised in 2018 september and there was a 50 uh, plus million pounds uh, loss for their uh, uh, company and they have uh, stolen mobile apps and uh, they have uh, published the credit card numbers and uh, they have used it and similarly there this is another uh, typical example so there is an app called tutu this happened a couple of uh, months back and uh, this is actually a gaming app and it is not available in the app store the moment uh, user try to uh, download or uh, sideload it it, the, it this app particular app it's try to con uh, um, try to get data read and write data from other application installed on the same device and similarly there is a may to abusive app uh, which originated from china and this was this happened on 2017 and this app tried to read contacts, documents, and files, and send it to the hackers' uh, servers. So uh, these are, again, uh, uh, typical customer example, uh, public office in city of Stockholm and professional service property in uh, United States, global semiconductor uh, manufacturer, and there is a health trade organization. So with benefits, it's easy to deploy a single app and there is nothing much to configure and you can have immediate and ongoing visibility. You'll have a risky app analysis. You, If you have your own application, you can have your own app analysis and put it in the policy and put it as an exception. Or you can also, uh, based on number of applications used by the user, you can also have app analysis and give a rating by yourself. And, Everything happens on the device and local action notification and local uh, remediation. And this is this is the whole uh, solution. Mobile Iron Core and uh, Mobile Iron Cloud both are supported for the MTD for, and it is sub currently supporting only for iOS and Android. And these are the three types of uh, vectors, uh, especially the MTD it's securing the device. One is device level uh, configuration type of attack, network level attack, and app level attacks. Yeah, I think uh, this is about, all about MTD. If you have any questions, you can always use the Q&A session. OK. So uh, thank you so much, uh, Mohan. Thank you, everyone. And uh, have a great day ahead. Thank you.